So if you like brands like Anti-Social Club, Fear of God, Supreme, Yeezys, and other really hype name brands, I'm gonna tell you exactly why I hate them. But um, let's backtrack just a little bit. When I was like 14, 15, 16, I was stupid and young. And I remember getting caught into the hype of clothing and having things. It has to be name brand. And I remember spending I think it was like four to five hundred. If you know what these are, these are true religion. Yeah. I don't have one, I have two. And I used to have three pairs before I sold them away. Like on top of that, I used to remember having things like, you know, G-Star raw denim, paying 100 to $200 on t-shirts that I wouldn't even wear nowadays. And I'm looking back and I'm like, Peter, you dumb little kid. Why would you spend an entire paycheck that you could have been using towards whatever it is better but you decided to buy clothes. This video is for that person. And now I'm like looking back, I'm like, I could have spent all that money on things like a newer 4K camera, better audio equipment, another laptop. And it's like, I like to hang these up the wall in my room. So I'm like, it's a reminder of how dumb I was as a kid. I'm like, if if you like brands like Anti-Social Club, I ain't hate on you. But I'm gonna hate on you if you spend entire paychecks on it when you can be doing it on something else and you don't necessarily have the means but you try to stunt like you do. When it comes to the fashion industry, anything related to clothes, chances are they all come from the same company. The only difference is you're paying, you know, their fixed fee for that logo that they stamp on. Cause I'm, I'm not trying to hate, but if you look at some of these wholesale t-shirt companies, these wholesale sweater companies, it looks exactly like them. And the only difference is they stamp their logo on it and insert brand here and change the logo. Insert brand here, another one. Hey, but if you like the brand, you like the clothes and how they feel, and you have the right monetary gains, or you know, you're, you're a person that likes to flip stuff and you like to buy Jordans and wait outside in line and have your entrepreneurial spirits and you know, flip and make money, you know, that's on you, good for you. But if I had to talk to my younger self, I would be like, don't waste money on name brand clothes, right? I would rather buy, you know, cheap, no name brand stuff that I'm more comfortable with. But at the same time, there's that whole argument of third world countries outsourcing, but that's, that's another video. But I like to keep up with fashion trends. You crazy mother... and knowing that it's like, hmm, so this is what's in nowadays. This is what's in. And back then, when I was in high school, the brands that were cool were things like Ed Hardy, Christian Odige, True Religion, Sevens of Mankind, all those name fancy price stuff, while, you know, all the other cool kids in high school were wearing. And now I'm looking back and I was like, I was young, dumb, and stupid. Because what's the point of buying clothes that you're only gonna wear because it's in season, right? It's in style. And looking back, you spent like three to four thousand dollars on clothes that you don't even wear anymore. And this 
might be the same thing for, you know, anti-social club, you know, because it's blown. I see it everywhere now. And, you know, same with things like Yeezys, fake Yeezys, you know, whatever. It's like, hey, if you like the clothes, that's on you. But don't buy into the hype. Do it because you like it, right? Because you're going to treat yourself that you're going to flip it and make some money and be entrepreneurial. Okay, do that. Don't spend entire paychecks on it so then you can look cool and try to fit into the crowd, all right? And that's something that I've learned as I grew up older, that I'm gonna dress and look however I want because how I feel comfortable. Because in the end, nobody cares and you're not gonna stunt on no one if you're wearing, you know, a $100 t-shirt that's made in a factory that probably wholesales it for two to three dollars in bulk for a hundred. And that's my gripe with name brand clothes. No hate to these companies, but more along the lines of my own advice to my young self. If I were to go back and be like, yeah, I, I could invest in my money just a little bit better. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Gnosis.